in Periscope. Happy, happy Tuesday. Thank you for watching the replay. Don't forget you can tap the screen even on the replay to give me hearts. Good morning, Mommy. I think I saw you join. Good morning, Tyranny. Good morning, Angie. Hi, everybody. If I don't know you, make sure you type in the comment box your name and where you're typing, where you're uh, blogging in where you're scoping in from. Let me know your name. Good morning, Jania. Happy Tuesday, everybody. I hope you had a magnificent Monday. Good morning, Katrina. Thank you guys all for joining. Um, this is going to be a dope scope, so make sure you swipe to the right. If you have an iOS device to invite your followers and swipe up, if you have an Android device to invite your followers, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be action-packed. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for joining. Hey, Reggie from Memphis. So for those that don't know me, I'm Clarissa. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. I'm a live blogger on Periscope. I do this every single morning, Monday through Friday at 8.30 a.m. Central Time. So I'm so happy. I'm so delighted that you have joined me this morning. I also am a motivational speaker and an author. So thank you for being on the scope with me this morning. Hello, Johnny. I think I saw you join. Good morning, Rachel. Good morning, everybody. Make sure, make sure that you invite followers. So if you follow Follow me on social media, Clarissa Joy. I miss my workout. I feel bad now. Don't feel bad. It's okay. You can catch up. Um, so, hi, Nate. Hello, Marriage of God. Uh, so, if you follow me on social media, you already know the question or the statement for this morning's blog topic is going to be a good one. It is seven reasons why you win. Seven reasons why you win. Yes. So, get your followers in here as soon as possible. Swipe to the right or swipe up. Also, um, I don't ask for hearts for free, but I ask for hearts if I say anything at all that educates you, empowers you, or causes your thinking or actions to evolve. Yes. And if you're new to Periscope and you wonder how to give hearts, you just simply tap the screen to give hearts. So this isn't like Facebook or Instagram where you just give one heart, but you tap several times to give me multiple hearts. I appreciate it, guys. So are you ready to hop in? Are you ready to hop in? I'm watching on the treadmill, two birds with one stone. That's right. K, K, La, Kala, two girls. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You're doing two birds with one stone. That's fine. So thank you guys for the heart flow. I see them over there, um, purple and pink and green. So are you ready? Are you ready for these seven reasons? This is absolutely, this is absolutely uh, what I use to encourage myself. So my mom, I think I saw my mom join the scope. I hope she can hear me this morning. Um, and uh, one thing that I typically do Whenever I'm in encountered with something that is, hey, Miss House, any anytime that I'm encountered with something that is going to challenge me, that's going to challenge my day, or that's just challenging my life, whether that's being um, in my professional career, that could be um, something that's challenging in my finances. Although I don't typically have those those issues. Good morning, the Jerry Crowley Show. Good morning, Kay Shantae from Texas. Um, so good morning I'm from South Carolina. Thank you guys for joining me. So I want you to think about anything in your life that possibly weighs you down or possibly gives you the blues or possibly gives you any type of spirit or feeling of you can't get over this or it's a huge challenge or it's insurmountable for you to get to the finish line so I want you to think about that again it could be personally it could be professionally. It could be spiritually. So think about all those things in your life that you keep saying, wow, why do I keep hitting the brick wall? Why can't I get over this hurdle? Why can't I be successful? I see everyone around me um, that's successful in this thing, but it's not happening for me. Okay, so that's what I want you guys to think about this morning. Thanks for sharing, guys. Thanks for getting your followers in. I appreciate the hearts. So sweet. Okay. Hello. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining. Good morning. Good morning. So how we do it every single morning, you just simply type a number one in the comment box to let me know that you are ready for reason number one. Hope you have your pen and pad ready. It's going to be action packed today. Okay. Okay. Good morning. Good morning, nurse exec. Is that my cousin? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Okay. So the first reason I told you guys in this subject here don't take my word for it this is Bible so in this scope usually I give you guys my personal experiences and things that I'm thinking and believing um, but this morning I've been led in a different direction and the seven reasons that I'm going to give you this morning are all from the Bible and it's basically what I believe and it's what I use um, on a regular basis to get me over yes okay so number one write down this or scope scribes type this in the box Romans 12 and 9 
19, Romans 12 and 19. I'm going to go through these quickly. The scripture says, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay saith the Lord. That's the part that I want to focus in, in on. Vengeance is mine, I will repay. Um, sometimes, oh, okay, so you just switch from Android to iPhone. For iPhone, swipe to the right, okay? Just swipe to the right if you have an iPhone. So uh, for that particular one, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord, I will repay. So with that, what I want you to remember, guys, sometimes we get stuck at a crossroad when we feel like we have been done wrong. So there's an example that I just faced. You're welcome. Last week, well, I felt like, wow, I'm trying to do the right thing, yet um, this person is being very rude to me. This person is being very inconsiderate. Um, this was um, having to do with academics, so this isn't anyone in my personal life. And I thought, wow, why is this happening to me? So what I had to remember was this exact scripture, Romans 12 and 19. Vengeance is mine. Vengeance belongs to the Lord. It doesn't belong to us. So we can't get on our high and mighty trip and our ego trip and say, well, you're going to treat me right. You're going to talk to me right. You shouldn't have done that because I wasn't wrong. Remember, guys, on this blog, we're introspective. So it doesn't matter who's right or wrong. It's not about fair or unfair. It's about you getting to what you want in life and succeeding. Okay, guys? So remember that. Thanks for inviting followers. So remember that. Vengeance does not belong to you. You can't make people change. You can't make people um, turn around. Okay, guys? So let's remember that. Yes, it's hard, but it's necessary. It, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't belong to us. Okay? So, number two, type a number two in your comment box to let me know that you're ready for number two. We have seven of these today, so we've got to go fast. Number two, number two, I see them coming, I see them coming. Okay, write it down, guys. Number two, number two, you better say it, honey. <laughs> hey, Cassandra. Okay, okay, number two is, write it down, Isaiah I'm sorry. Yes, Isaiah 53 and 5. Isaiah 53 and 5. Number two is Isaiah 53 and 5. Isaiah 53 and 5 simply reads but he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed. So how many of you have felt like, wow, why am I getting sick when I'm trying to do uh, something with my family? Why am I sick when I have this big presentation going on at work? Or why am I sick? Or why am I feeling um, uncomfortable? Or why have I had to go through this illness for several months or several years of my life? We have to remind ourselves, guys, that we are already healed through his stripes. Yes, so this morning, these are all reminders for us. You're already healed. You need to say it to yourself every single day with authority and with confidence that you're already healed. It's okay. Just watch the replay. You can watch the replay later. It's up for 24 hours. Okay, so you're already healed, guys. You are a winner. You will succeed. Let's go to number three. Type a number three in the comment box. Make sure you follow me so that you can do the replay. Tap on the uh, the white icon at the very bottom right of your screen to make sure that you're following me. Okay, looks like you guys are ready for number three. Yes, yes, yes. I hope you're writing this down. Hey, Yanita. Good morning, girl. Number three. Number three is Romans 8 and 31. Romans 8 and 31. Again, we've got to move fast. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us. Hmm. Powerful, right? So we're thinking that we're fighting against this person and that person um, with this situation and that situation. It doesn't matter, guys. It doesn't matter. Read Romans 8 and 31. If God be for us, who can be against us? It doesn't matter. It simply doesn't matter. This morning, today, I want you to free yourself and let it go. It, it doesn't matter. He's for us. So it doesn't matter about all these other people or things or situations or circumstances or um, all the negativity that's, you know, coming into your life or trying to um, peek its way into your life. Don't allow it to because it doesn't matter. Okay, let's go to number four, guys. Type a number four in the comment box to let me know that you're ready. Number four, number four. I hope you've invited your followers. Okay, looks like you guys are ready. Very good. 
to write it down, write it down. That was my prayer this morning. Very good, Yanita. That's so awesome. Confirmation, girl. Number four. Number four is Romans 8 and 37. Go a few scriptures down. Romans 8 and 37. In all these things, we are more, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. What is a conqueror? A winner. Yes, a winner. So this scripture says we are more than winners. How in the world can you be more than a winner? Unless you win. Exactly. Exactly. Does this not excite you? Is this not good news to your life? I'm telling you guys, these are reminders that we must um, write down, have them visible. Remind yourself when the going gets tough and the tough gets going. Remind yourself of this. You are more than a conqueror. Not just a conqueror, but more. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's keep going, guys. Let's keep going. Type a number five in your comment box if you're ready for number five. Type a number five in your comment box to let me know you're ready for number five. Thanks for sharing, guys. Thanks for sharing. Thank you for the heart flow. I see the hearts coming in. I appreciate that. Okay, number five is 1 John 4 and 4. Okay, 1 John 4 and 4. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I didn't make it up, guys. I promise you. I don't make this stuff up. It's in the Bible. It's there. Read it. We're reading it right now. Yes. Can you believe that? Greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world. What does that mean? Again, it doesn't matter. All the, the situations that you could possibly face in life, he that's in you is still greater than all of that stuff, all of that mess, all of the disappointment, all of the heartache, all of the anger and the rage and the all of the various feelings and emotions that you could feel because of life, right? When life happens. It doesn't matter because he is still greater in you than all of the world. That's just so awesome to me, okay? Let's keep going, guys. Let's keep going. Type a number six in your comment box to let me know that you're ready for number six. We're getting to number seven. You guys know how the last one's always the biggie. Number six. Type a number six in your comment box, okay? I see the six is coming in. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, number six is Matthew's 19. I'm sorry, Matthew. There's no S. <laughs> Matthew 19 and 26. Matthew 19 and 26. Okay, um, Matthew 19 and 26. Okay, that's uh, it reads, but Jesus behold them and said unto them, with men, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Did y'all see that? Did you hear that? Did you read that? But with God, all things are possible. Okay? So you're talking about, well, Lord, I know that you blessed me to pay my light bill, but I, I know I probably can't get that new house. Oh, I know you blessed me and now I'm saved, but I know I can't get the Holy Spirit because I'm just not big and bad enough. I'm just not spiritual enough. I haven't been saved long enough. No, that's not true. This scripture doesn't say based on how long you've been saved. This scripture doesn't say based on how long you've been on your job. This scripture doesn't say based on if you've had your second or third child, then you become an expert in child rearing. I don't see any clauses in here. It doesn't say after you reach your 10th year in marriage, then you'll be successful. No, this says with God, all things are possible. So guess what, guys? That tells me that I am my worst enemy. I put the restraints on him. 
with him, all things are possible. So why am I still bound? Why am I still waiting? Why am I still suffering? Why am I still going through? You know why? Because we haven't caught on to this. You're welcome, Katrina. We haven't caught hold to this. Yes, this is where we grow, guys. We've got to be open, honest, genuine, authentic with ourselves. This isn't the blog where we place blame and point fingers. But this morning, we're being true with ourselves. So I can say, Clarissa has put the shackles, has put the chains on God because I had limitations. I put stipulations on it. Not this scripture, not his word. His word says all things are possible, period. It stopped right there. No ifs, ands, buts about it. So why are we doing that? Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm getting excited. Last one. Number seven, type a number seven in your comment box to let me know that you're ready for number seven. Yes, ma'am, this speaks to me. I set limitations on myself and God. I can admit this. Very good for admitting we've all been there. If we're willing to admit it, we all have been there. We, we play the but game. Well, you know, but I'll just wait until... That's nowhere in Matthew 19 and 26. That's us. That's human. Okay, much needed. Very good, very good. Okay, number seven. Looks like you guys are ready. Awesome. Don't put God in the box. That's right, Angie. So number seven, this one is the bang of the morning, okay? Number seven, write it down. Write it down. Psalms 55 and 22. Psalms 55 and 22. Psalms 55 and 22. This is the biggie. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall, that's with promise, sustain thee. He shall never, never, ever, 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 he shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Drop the mic, exit left, I'm done. <laughs> Did you guys hear that this morning? Cast their burden. What is a burden? Anything that is weighing you down, anything that you haven't overcome, anything that oppresses you, anything that, you guys are laughing, I'm so serious. Anything that is um, insurmountable with your own will, with your own might. That's a burden, guys. This says cast our bur burden upon the Lord. He shall. That means it's got to happen. He shall sustain thee. It didn't say you'll be like in the uh, in the, the the ridges. You'll be at the bottom. Then he'll bring you out, you know, in 50 years. Nope. Mm -mm. Don't say that at all. Nowhere. Nowhere do I see that. He shall sustain thee. What does sustain mean? Even through whatever it is you're in the midst of, you're going to remain, you're going to stay afloat, guys. Okay? OMG, you're definitely helping me. This was definitely for me. You're so welcome. Awesome, awesome. And the second part of that is, he shall never. Do you guys know how impactful the word never is? Like, how likely is never to happen in your life when you try to do it yourself? Let's be real. Never? Can you can you tell your family, your your profession at work, your um your people at church, can you tell them that you'll never let them down? You'll never um have them upset with you? No, because you're human, right? But this is we're talking about God, we're talking about spiritual things here, okay? So this says he shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Drop my pen, drop the mic, exit stage. I'm telling you, the seventh one, it's done, guys. It's done. So, um, never. That's right, Rachel. I want you guys to catch this in your spirit today. Whatever you have been going through, whatever you have not mastered yet, whatever you have the most difficulty achieving, again, personally, professionally, spiritually, think across all three areas of your life, whatever, guys, whatever ever across all three areas of your life ask yourself remind yourself tell yourself these seven these seven scriptures to revitalize you to uh, rejuvenate you because it's here it's written he's waiting on us so the challenge today is do you believe what you just heard do you believe those seven 
Will you walk in those seven? Will you act like you're a winner? Will you stop speaking death over your life? Will you stop speaking damnation into your situation? Will you stop accepting negativity? Last week, guys, I got some news that I was going to have to do this, 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 and that, dealing with my academics. And I'll share this on another scope. I know we're, um, we we have exhausted our time today, so I'll share it in another scope. But uh-uh, I think my mom is still on. I told my mom, I'm not accepting that. Nope. End of that, mm -mm. we're not even going to talk about that. Nope, because that's not going to how, how it's going to be for Clarissa. And sure enough, yesterday, mm -hmm, I got the email. It turned around in my favor because I'm God's favorite. Yeah, he was talking about me with these seven. That's my mom, guys. He was talking about me with those seven. Yeah, when my mom heard the news, she was like, oh, wow, I was about to get really upset. I was like, why? Mm -mm, don't. That's not how it's going to work out. I'm just waiting on the good report. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I want you to believe this with every, fight, with every fiber of your beings. I want you to release all fear, all doubt, all what if, all shoulda, woulda, coulda. I want you to release that today. No longer accept negativity. No longer, that's right, Angie, highly favored. No longer accept anything that is not written within these seven scriptures. If it does not align with these seven, do not accept it, okay? So the challenge today is I'm asking you, do you believe these seven reminders? If you believe them, are you walking in them? If you believe them, have you reminded yourself of them? So watch the replay, guys. I don't have time to go back through all seven, but watch this replay. Write them down. Put them on sticky notes. Put them on um, index cards. Put them wherever. Hey, Katrina, I'm sorry I missed your message. Um, write, put them wherever you need to put them to remind yourself of what it is we've discussed this morning, okay? So I'll be back on this afternoon um, to see about who accepted this challenge today. And to make sure you've really caught this in your spirit, guys. This is too good. This is too good um, to let it just, you know, poof, go into the uh, atmosphere. But I want you to um, digest this this morning, okay? No theatrics, just raw word. I want you to digest this this morning. Believe it receive it and look for the good report look for the brighter days look for the change look for the shift you have to have a spirit of expectation that's where your faith shows it's not in the negativity that you say but it's in the positivity and the expectation and the belief that you walk in that's the most powerful thing that's what moves god okay guys so i want to share quickly with you this morning thank you so much for hopping on don't forget to check out my website chick chat cc com It shows my previous Periscopes. Also connect with me on social media, Facebook fan page, Instagram, and also Twitter. My handle is Clarissa Joy, J-O-I. You guys be blessed. I wish productivity on your days, positivity on your days, and prosperity over your day, okay? Talk to you later. Bye.